my connection with Chinatown uh, started when I first immigrated to uh, San Francisco Chinatown when I was seven years old in 1994. Uh, it was, you know, a move that my family decided really last minute, uh, and I've lived in Chinatown ever since then. Went to an elementary school right on Broadway Street, and then Marina Middle School within um, about, you know, one bus ride away, and have lived in San Francisco ever ever since then. Uh,咁我呢就喺一九九四年呢就七歲嗰陣時呢就移民到三藩市嘅,咁由細到大呢都喺華浮長大,咁喺喺Jim and this is part of my my personal story too. Um, symbolizes kind of, I think, the Chinatown community. Uh, it's in San Francisco. It's actually very unique in that it's really grounded in the people and the uh, merchants and the nonprofits that have de developed over the years in Chinatown. And the book really shows that kind of relationship and really grounded in displaying the people who are the essence of this whole uh, community that has lasted over, you know, a decade. I think the, the one picture that triggered the most memory isn't even the picture that's triggering an old memory when I was a child, but more, um, it was the graffiti, not the graffiti, the, the mural uh, on one of the streets with uh, the pig and the monkey king. It symbolizes the story of uh, the monkey king, but I thought that was a, really triggering, not triggering, but it, it, it's really interesting for me because that mirror itself triggered a lot of negative feedback from the older generation in Chinatown. But for me, uh, I think it symbolizes the changes and the, the, the coming together of the younger and older generations that, that is Chinatown. And as a person who's a Chinese American who grew up in Chinatown, um, I feel like Chinatown, San Francisco, stories very similar to my growing up stories always finding the balance between the western approach to things and also keeping the tradition of the chinese culture and that mural meshing with the old story of the china the, the monkey king putting a, a, a kind of modern twist to it and then causing a a, a, a gossip and 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 feedback amongst both the older generation and younger generation uh, is something that that really brings back memory and just reminds me that Chinatown is always evolving and always looking at a way to balance the, what they want to keep as a tradition but also moving forward and, and trying to modernize and, and, and keep up with time. Uh, when I first opened the book, I think the one thing that captured me is the fact that every single picture is mostly of people. I think a lot of people find beauty in nature, in uh, paintings and all, but for me, I think people is really the spirit of this community and to highlight people doing day-to-day -day things, just walking down the streets or uh, managing their own business, that is beauty for me and that's why I have continued to, to stay close with Chinatown and also now actually working for this community.